I love it when we have guest speakers. Amen? Amen. Why do I feel like I can say anything and you would say amen? Amen. It's like one of those preacher tricks. It's like I woke up out of bed today, I took a shower, amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It's like my bowl of cereal today was really good, amen? Hallelujah. It's something that happens when you're a preacher, you know? You can say anything. Blah, blah, blah. Amen? Amen. Tell you. Amen. So why? Why am I so blessed when a guest speaker like we had last week comes to Mishkan David? Does anybody know why? Because you're going to sit with Susie. Because I don't get to write a sermon. Yeah, that's why. And I get to sit with Susie, of course. So I had my day off last week as Rabbi Stewart was sharing. So, but of course, you know, I, I still have to read the Torah portion of the week. Because after all, I'm a rabbi. So I, what do rabbis do but read the Torah portions? So I read the Torah portions and Rabbi Stewart shares what was on his heart. And then at the end, uh, something came forth out of me about the Torah portion last week. And it was about when a leper gets cleansed. How many loves to hear, to hear sermons about lepers? Amen? Amen! Amen. Amen. Woo! Mm -hmm. And I felt Adonai speaking through me. Now, I don't know if he was speaking through me at you, but I know he was speaking through me at me. And some things came forth that ministered to me. So I left thinking I had a day off. And then I feel out of nice saying, you didn't have a day off. Because there's more I need to share through you from last week's Torah portion. Because you kind of had to cut it short, if you know what that means. So you'll do the real thing this week. So we get a double portion. Yeah. <laughs> So I will start just by sharing what I shared last week, which ministered to me as it came forth. So the week prior, we spoke about leprosy, tzara'at, in scripture. And last week, in the Torah portion, when the leper gets cleansed, and you must understand that the leper is an absolute outcast in society. It is the Torah epitome of the outcast. The one who is unlovable, the one who everybody wants to stay away from and not be near, and the one who is actually has to leave the camp. This leper has to go outside the camp and live alone. He's the epitome of uncleanliness, and he's the epitome of somebody who's just, nobody wants to be around this person. But I'm gonna switch between last week's Torah portion, no, I'm sorry, yeah, and this week's Torah portion, but when Adam and I had me go into last week's again, it starts by saying, on the day of the cleansing of this leper, on the day of his cleansing, it doesn't say if he gets cleansed. It doesn't say when he repents of his leprosy. It doesn't say when he comes to his senses. It doesn't say when he goes to the doctor and finally fixes himself up. It just says, on the day of his cleansing, which speaks to me that whatever we're going through, whatever it is where we're feeling unclean, whatever it is where we're feeling outside the camp, outside the camp, the day of cleansing is ordained. Hallelujah. It's not 
an if. It's a when. It's an on the day. <laughs> Your cleansing is not an if. It's not an if. It's a yes and amen. And it came forth last week that we all, because we're all so holy, remember the blessing and the anointing of the high priest, which is, we can probably all remember, say it because we remember it, because it speaks to us, and it should speak to us. Where it's our ear, right ear, are we familiar with it? Yeah. Our right thumb and our right tootsie gets anointed when the high priest gets anointed. And it's something that's exclusive to the high priest. And last week's Torah portion, I learned for the first time that there's one other type of person that gets the exact same anointing. And that is the cleansed leper. So when there is somebody who is outside the camp, when there is somebody who has leprosy, uncleanliness, something that we just, we can't touch, we're like, oh, no, 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 okay, well, God bless you, I'm praying for you, but yeah, you're gonna be over there. God sees within this person a priesthood, a high priesthood, and God has the same blessing for the priest. The same blessing that he has for the priest is for this one, this dirty scumbag who nobody wants to touch. God has the same blessing for this one on the day of his cleansing. And that teaches me how to look at people. Hallelujah. 